hello everyone and welcome back to another video so in this set i'm going to be doing some valentine's nails and i'm going to be using some products from kiki london so i've got quite a few things that i haven't used yet on myself so i wanted to try them um so i've already prepped my nails and I, they've already had um full cover tips on so i'm just doing a bit of an infill today so I'm starting off with the base coat, but I am going to use the one of the coloured rubber base coats um, as well. So I thought on this pinky nail, I was just going to put some gel polish on, but I decided after to just build it up a bit with the, um, the rubber base coat. So um, I am going to be doing that in a minute. So I'm going to be using some of these hearts. And I'm going to be using this glitter called Pure as the heart. And it's basically little um, iridescent hearts, all different sizes. And that's from A&A Glitter. So I'm going to be um, using this rubber base coat. And this is RB02. And it's a really nice pink colour. But it is very sheer, so it will need building up. So I'm starting off by putting a thin coat of it on each nail. And I'm really sort of scrubbing that in because this is going to be, you know, sort of my normal base coat that is going to tie everything together. So it's going to make sure that um, the growth on the nail is infilled properly and it goes right up to where that full cover tip starts. So now I'm just going to start layering the little glitter pieces um, or the sequin pieces, whatever you want to call them. So um, if they are a little bit bigger, you might need to curve them so that they fit on your nail properly and they don't stick out. So I have bent this one before I put it on just to make sure that it fit on the nail properly and it wasn't sticking up and it wasn't going to cause a problem when I come to file it. So I'm just putting a few hearts on the nails first because like I said, I'm going to be layering this builder gel up. So I want it to sort of look like um, some are different colours than others. It actually didn't work out that way. When the nails are all finished, you can't really tell that much difference between the ones that are lower down and the ones that are higher up. But there is that little slight difference there and I just think it just gives them a bit of depth, that's all. So the Kiki London rubber base coat does cure for 60 seconds. So each coat I do cure it for 60 seconds in my lamp. Just to make sure that that is all fully cured. And then I'm just building the layers up. So each time I'm putting the hearts on, I am keeping the gel layer wet. I'm not curing it until the hearts are on. And then the hearts get cured into that wet gel layer. And I find that a lot easier than um, putting the hearts on the tacky layer after it's been cured. Because if you do that and then you go over with something else like Builder in a Bottle or these rubber base coats, because they are thicker, you end up moving your pieces around. Um, and I didn't want to do that. So that's why I always find it easier to put, put them in the wet gel and then cure it. And also to make sure that the gel is everywhere I want it, I make sure that I use... Um, a striping brush as well, just around the cuticle area, around the side walls as well, just to make sure that um, the gel is going everywhere and I'm not going to get lumps and bumps everywhere. So even though I am putting a few coats on, I'm trying to keep it quite thin. So that's why you see me brushing it on rather than floating it on. Because I don't want to file it and end up filing the sequins off. I did actually do that by accident on one of the nails, but I do um, like remedy that in a bit and I'll show you that soon. So I hope you like this video. If you did, don't forget to press that like button and then don't forget to subscribe if you've not already. And make sure you hit on the notification bell so that you'll get notified whenever I upload a new video. So Kiki London, all of their products are vegan and cruelty free. And I really like that about them. But not just that, they are really, really good quality. When I was using these, I really enjoyed working with them. They're very smooth to go on. So I think at the moment, Kiki London, I've got sort of a Valentine's Day sale on. I can't remember how um, much of a discount it is, but I will put a picture on the screen so that you can see that and you can see how much um, you'll, you know, get off if you use their discount code.
So I did file them off camera and give them a buff just before I go on with the next stage because I didn't want this video to be too long. So what I should have done at this point is I should have put um, a matte top coat on but I decided to just go, because I'd already buffed them, I decided to go straight in with the nail art and I'll show you why I shouldn't have done that in, in a minute. So next I'm going in with this Barbie Pink from the Hema Free range of um, Kiki London's gel polishes and I love this colour but haven't used it on me yet. So I was doing a full nail of that on the pinky. And then I'm going in with the no wipe top coat because I'm going to put um, something else over the top of this. I'm going to go in with the white pearl chrome powder. And I was really excited to use this because I've seen other people using it and it just looks beautiful. So I was hoping that it would do the same over this colour. I've not tried it over this colour yet and I was really, really happy with it. I think it's gorgeous. So I'm just rubbing that in on the one side, on the white side of that applicator and then I'm turning the applicator over and making sure that it's really burnished into that nail. And then after that I do follow it with the no wipe top coat again and make sure that I seal all that in but I do brush off any excess dust first with my dust brush because you don't want any particles left on that nail because then when you top coat not only will it get into your top coat but you'll get um it looking a bit more glittery rather than chrome like and that's not the look i was going for so that's going to get cured in the lamp and then i'm going to move on to the nail art so i'm using classic white and i'm also using the barbie pink again so i've got that on my palette and I didn't realise until I started doing this nail art that that Barbie pink is really quite sheer. So we had to do quite a few coats of this to make this, um, you know, stand out. So these are going to be lips and I'm going to do one set is going to be pink and the other set is going to be white. So the problem that I had was that when I've been filing and buffing, I hadn't got rid of all the file marks. And you do get little lines um, where you filed and a lot of the time when you're buffing you can buff those away but I didn't manage to do that so they weren't completely smooth so when I was putting the nail the gel polish on doing this nail art it did sort of sit into those lines a little bit and you can't really see it but I think next time I definitely would put a matte top coat on before I start doing the nail art. So what I'm doing now, I'm going over with the detailer brush, with the fine liner brush, and I'm just putting the no wipe top coat onto where I've done those lips because I'm going to put the chrome powder on top of those as well. So I am repeating this on the thumb, I'm doing exactly the same thing on the thumb but I'm not showing you that otherwise this would be too long. 
And then on the ring finger, I did notice that I'd filed a little bit into one of my hearts and I didn't like the way it looked at all. So I thought, right, I'm just going to paint some hearts over the top in the white um, and that'll sort of cover that up. And I also really liked the way it looked as well. I thought it really fit in with um, the lips that were already white on there. So with all that done, I'm just going to go over the nails that I've got the nail art on with the no wipe top coat and then that's this set done. So I really love these nails. I wasn't sure about putting the chrome powder on top of the, uh, the lips, but I was really glad I did because I really loved the way it turned out. So let me know in the comments, what do you think? Do you like these nails? I think they are gorgeous and I'm really happy with them. I'm going to try and keep them on for a while. Um, so yeah, this was uh, my sort of last Valentine's set. I wanted to do a few this year, but that's it now. I'm going to start moving on to spring nails next, I think. So I've got a few ideas for that. So yeah, like I said earlier, if you like this video, please give it a like. If you're not a subscriber, please consider subscribing. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you liked it and I'll see you next time. Bye.